Welcome to episode two of Sliced Red Deer, a fundraiser for the women's outreach. My name is Vinny Taylor from 100.7 Cruise FM, my lovely co-host every weekday morning on the radio, Meg Tucker, and also one of the top 25 home chefs in the country. Tonight, here in the cooking room, two chefs will go head to head in an epic culinary battle, and they'll have to bring their A game because there are some challenges. Oh yes, okay, what's gonna happen? They are thrown three mystery ingredients. They have to work those ingredients into their dishes and they have uh, some pretty, pretty big time judges here tonight. Too. Plus they're battling the clock. Yes, they are battling the clock. They have to get their dishes done under time. They get judged. We've got an audience. It's a great night. And again, all the proceeds are going to the women's outreach. Two great chefs battling it out tonight. So Pierre versus Earls, who is going to move on to the March 24th finale. The battle is about to begin. Our first judge is Jeff LaRouge, culinary instructor at Notre Dame High School and Skills Alberta judge in culinary arts and baking. Our next judge is Nan Dell, who's the in-house chef here at the cooking room and also has her own catering business. Simona Tantus, who's a leading realtor with Realty Executives Red Deer. And our final judge, no stranger to your television, top 11 of MasterChef Canada season one, Dora Cote, soon to be opening Dora's Rocky Mountain Roadhouse. First up, we have Pete Sock, chef from Sopir Restaurant and Bar in Red Deer. My name is Pete Sock. I'm from Sopir Restaurant and Bar. In the industry for about 20 years, uh, just recently, uh, I think 2010, went to Australia to Le Cordon Bleu in Sydney. Uh, did uh, my basic and intermediate uh, cooking there in uh, Le Cordon Bleu cuisine there. I graduated in Ottawa uh, a couple years ago and now, you know, we're here just running our family businesses between Blue Dragon, Bamboo Hut, and now our latest venture, so here. The food is a, food is a memory trigger for me. Growing up, uh, you know, being a refugee from Cambodia and Thailand, you know, you didn't really got much to choose from. So I went, when I moved to Canada in Edmonton, a little girl, I'm about five years old, uh, she handed me a burger. I was like, well, this is really good. Just every food has some sort of memory and uh, it's, it's better than the photographs for me, so. Now entering the kitchen, our second chef tonight, representing Earl's, Robert Brarrington. Hi, my name is Robert. I'm from Earl's Red Deer. As a cook, I have been working with Earl's for 16 years. I had previous experience like in between working in other little kitchens and working under chefs that are really, really good. What inspired me to cook was my, uh, my friend James Olofsson. He, being the head chef at Earl's way back when I first started, it was just kind of, he encouraged us and let us grow and kept us more motivated towards cooking. My boss, he approached me a couple weeks ago and said, hey, do you want to do this? And I thought, hey, it's perfect because watching the stuff on TV, I look at it as, it's an experience, it's something that totally different, gets us out there, gets us involved with the community. Here we go, unveiling tonight's mystery ingredients. They must include these in their dish. In their entree, okay. Can they see? Maybe we should just lift it like this. <laughs> your, your first mystery ingredient is, drum roll everybody. Ricotta. Ricotta. That was a great reaction, by the way. <laughs> okay. Mystery ingredient number two. Sriracha. Sriracha. Oh my goodness, Pete's like, whatever, I got this. And your final mystery ingredient tonight. Which you need to work into your dish, and the judges will be judging that they can tell that it's in your dish. Drum roll. Cider vinegar. Ooh. There are your three mystery ingredients. Ricotta cheese, sriracha, and cider vinegar. What do you guys think? You gonna do it? You have 50 minutes to complete your dish, and your time begins now. Okay, guys. All right, get on it. Let's, let's go, go, let's go, let's go. Come on.
Okay, Dora, the three mystery ingredients, cider vinegar, sriracha, and ricotta. What would you do with those ingredients? Well, right now I'd be thinking I'd be doing a funky little barbecue sauce with that sriracha and the cider and probably do a little something, season up that ricotta, put it into a salad, maybe with a nice vinaigrette on that bad boy too, some homemade croutons. Oh, look at you. Now, will you be able to taste the cider vinegar? Is that important to you being a mystery ingredient? I, it's cider vinegar. I should be able to at least smell it's in there. Now, last week you were uh, a fan of the harissa paste because yes. you like spice. Is sriracha in your cupboard at home? Yeah, n uh, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but they will be after this show for sure. Awesome. Yes, but I was actually very excited to see that on the ingredients list. All right, let's check in with Nan. You heard the three mystery ingredients. Uh, your first thoughts? Wow. It's going to be hard <laughs> to incorporate those all together. Yeah. What would you do? Um, you know what I would do, I think? I would do like maybe like a sweet potato fritter mm. and use the ricotta as like a little bit of a binder. Mm and then make a chutney, maybe a chutney with the sriracha and the apple cider vinegar, a little spicy chutney maybe. Very nice. Oh, there you go, I'll make it for you. <laughs> you can let me know. All right, Jeff, uh, you've heard the three mystery ingredients. Uh, what kind of a challenge do you think faces these chefs? Uh, well, they're, they're kind of all kind of soft ingredients, so you gotta try and build some texture in, but I always kind of think when in doubt, I make risotto. So I'm, <laughs> I'm incorporating the creaminess of the ricotta and the risotto and maybe a gastrique with the sriracha and the, and the cider vinegar to add kind of some acid and, and spice to that dish. Thanks for your input. Let's get back to the battle. is underway. It's episode two of Sliced Red Deer. We've got Pete from Sopir and Robert from Earl's, and they're trying to deal with those mystery ingredients. Yes, we revealed cider vinegar, ricotta cheese, and sriracha. It is getting heated in the kitchen. We'll be right back with more Sliced Red Deer.